What's up, what's going on guys? Your boy Crimson Dragon the Ant here back at it again with some more EA Sports UFC 4 Fighter Showcase UFC 264. Uh, we got a lot of fires to, well, that I want to get through. Um, of course, you have Dustin Poirier and Conor McGregor, which we're going to get to. You got Gilbert Burns and Steven Thompson, which we're going to get to. Um, got a lot of people. So, what we're going to get into first, though, is is the fights before the co-main event, because we got a lot of fighters that I've been wanting to use in the main card, such as Ty Bam Bam Tuivasa. Let's get into the first fight. Alrighty, here we go. We got Stipe Miocic versus Ty Tuivasa. We're facing Thick Stick Daddy. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, he's a division higher than me. But let's see what we can do. All right, so here we go. Round one is underway. Very compelling matchup for fight fans around the world. It's going to be very interesting to see how soon the grappler goes to the table. Well, he's going to try to get the takedown right away. But when he shoots that shot, when he changes that level, he is going to be shooting into a guy that truly understands all aspects of mixed martial arts. I'm wondering how. Oof. Oh! Bam! What a nice double knee right there. Boom. See if we can break him a little bit. Because he is real confident right now. Boom. Nice scramble there. Okay. So, so far, he's only thrown two combos at me. Really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Oh, nice. Let's see if I can probably move out the way of that hook. So, just over 20 total strikes have now connected for Ty to us. Oof, okay. Bam. Nice catch right there. Alright. There we go. What? I love that right hand. Catching him. There we go. Love that right hand. When you catch him moving forward on you, he just pop. It's real nice. I told you, is a hairy man. You saw his back? He got a lot of back hair. <laughs> oh, man. All right, but uh, yeah, that was a nice one. Boom. All right. Let's get into the next fight. All right, here we go. We are facing DC, Daniel Cormier. He is Division 10. That's about two divisions ahead of me, but like I said, we're going to see what we can do here. DC is very excellent at wrestling, and surprisingly in this game, he's very good at kickboxing. Like in three, he was, you know, decent, but in, in this game, he's really good in the stand-up. So... Let's see. Specialist on one side, not the other side. Maybe the most well-rounded fighter. Yeah, he is one of the best fighters in the entire UFC. But in front of him, he has one of the most dangerous fighters across all divisions in the octagon. Because that one skill he has is so good that you're in danger the entire time. Man, it's time to shot nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Oh, nice. Oh, huge Superman punch. 
Oh! Almost caught that one. Yeah, we talked so much about the wrestling. Don't sleep on those hands. Yeah, but it's because of the wrestling that allows these guys, especially a guy like DC, who's shorter, to manage distance, manage space in the striking room. Well, as usual, this outstanding striker has come out aggressively tonight, almost as if he's double parked outside. Who's trying to get the job done and get it done quickly? But he doesn't waste any action. Everything is so tight and crisp. That's why he lands. Oh, oh nice. He's got to press him. He's got to take that bench down there. Nice one. Oh, big knee. He's hurt. He's hurt. He's hurt. He's getting absolutely worked from the top here on the wrong end of nearly all of these ground and pound strikes. Oh. Oof. There we go. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the punches and everything landing. Nice. He's got good defense on the ground. Now I definitely want to get up as quick as I possibly can. I think he's praying for the ref to stand us up. Or maybe he's just camping on a denial. I'm not really sure. Let me see. Yeah, he's definitely camping on denials. Oh, he's going for his arm now. Damn, I'm about to get submitted right now. I might be. Oh, I missed the slam. Continuing to try to manipulate the head. Yeah, I'm gonna get submitted right now. Yup, definitely about to get submitted. Wow, I missed the slam, man. Oh, definitely my mistake there was pursuing DC on the ground. Uh, I could have sworn I defended that transition to the armbar, but I guess not. I don't know. <laughs> and I missed the slam. So many. Three mistakes in a row. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, let's keep it going here. All right, here we go. We got John Jones versus Ty Tuivasa. This guy is way more experienced than me at this game. And he picked John Jones. So, uh, I guess you can see why he's been winning all this time. <laughs> I don't know, it's just that John Jones players, they're just so wild, man. So wild. Look at this. There's no thought. They just kind of spin. You just kind of try to have patience. Just got to kind of be patient with him. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Ooh, he landed a huge hook there. Whoops. Quick entry to get nice takedown. Let's see what he's going to do here. Nope. He's more than content to work off of his back DC where he has been a magician in his UFC career. The ground and pound has been there all night. There we go. Let's get up as soon as possible. Oh, I went right into that one. He's got to press it. He's got to rotate that finish down now. Ah. Side control now. Uh-oh. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landed. Both, both very powerful. Here we go. Very explosive. Well, he stays pretty effective here fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Tui Vasa. 
Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here. There we go. Sorry if I'm not talking. I'm just trying to be patient. Oof. Great punch landed with so much power. Just gotta be patient with them, that's all. And they will make a mistake. Oh, he might be out. Oh. They will make a mistake. Back to the feet. Oh. Oh. How about those five minutes? Just gotta be patient. John Jones players, man. They play very, very wild. I don't know what it is. I don't know when this started happening. I guess probably around the time when John Jones got to heavyweight. And even like cause even like light heavyweight, when the game first came out that I remember, John Jones was pretty weird to use because of given the game's mechanics and how John Jones worked with them. So you didn't really see a whole lot of people play um picking John Jones. You see a lot of like DC, you see a lot of uh like Diago Santos and you know whatever but ever since John Jones came into heavyweight you've seen like a resurgence of the John Jones players so he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here these are going to take their toll as this fight goes on nice body kick Jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Well, he continues to do it. Oh! He's in trouble. Oh, he's hurt bad. Ah. Uh. Some excellent ground and pound strikes here, in DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly that. He's got my body. What? My arm was literally. <laughs> oh man. These John Jones players are wild, man. I don't know why I wasn't dodging those punches. I mean, my arm literally covered his arm. <laughs> so I don't know. Either way, I mean, I know that we've got um. We've got, uh, what was it, one win, two losses? I still really enjoy playing as Ty Tuivasa. And, you know, I've been a fan of his. Like, I saw, like, his fight against Junior Dos Santos. And um, who else he fought? He fought that other big guy. I forgot his name. Oh, man, what was his name? In the fight, they he wore red shorts. Oh, uh, I have no idea. But anyway, Ty Tuivasa has always been that guy that's, like, you know, I really hope he does continue to climb. Um, I think I'm not sure, but I think Tai Tuivasa is on a win right now. I wanna, I wanna say, God, I'm gonna sound so fucking stupid, but um, yeah, man. Uh, I don't really know what else to say. Um, we're gonna do Sean O'Malley next, and then we will go into Stephen Wonderboy Thompson, Gilbert Burns. Conor McGregor, and finally, Dustin the Diamond Poirier. So, thank you all for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you're new. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Peace!